Hi, I'm Kai Cheng Tom, and you're watching Ask Kai Quickies, which is a series of short videos in which we talk all about sex and relationships. So today's question is, how do I know if I'm a top, bottom, verse, or switch? How do I decide? Wow, this is a great question. Um, I love it. And I mean, the simple answer is, do you go with the flow? But I know this may not be entirely satisfying for someone who's like, no, I really need to know. It's deep in my soul. I, there's something important here that I need to understand. I'm on a journey of self-discovery. And that's totally great. Most of us are on a journey of self-discovery when it comes to sex and sexuality, particularly if we're queer, trans, or adjacent in some way. First of all, the top-bottom verse switch distinction could refer to a couple of different things here. One is power dynamic, so who is you know in charge, who is the more um, initiatory person, all of that sort of thing, um, and who is more submissive, who is more receptive, who is more... Um, being told what to do versus telling what to do. That's one version of the top bottom dynamic. And then another is more simply like who is penetrating whom. And then those two dynamics can sort of blur into one another as well, but it is important to separate them. Um, who is doing penetration can be really different from who is in charge. And I just say that as a person who um, often receives, but is always in charge, if you know what I mean. First, I think it's important to decide what question you're trying to answer. Is it um, about reception um, of penetration um, or is it about power dynamic or is it both? And it can be really helpful to kind of separate those things because what one enjoys in terms of power dynamic um, or relationship flavor can sometimes be different from what one enjoys in terms of actual physical actions. So let's talk about physical acts first. How do you know if you like to receive penetration or to give penetration? And I want to be really broad here about that kind, um, the kinds of penetration we're talking about. I think we often think about um, penis and anus when we're talking about top and bottom, and that really sort of revolves around a cisgender gay man's world, but it doesn't have to. We could be talking about penetration um, of the mouth with the penis. We could be talking about penetration of a vagina or vulva. We could be talking about the use of the fingers. We could be talking about toys um, or other objects. So it could be a lot of things. Um, and really, um, I would just say the way to find out um, if you like giving or receiving penetration is to try it. And I would say, um, if you're new to those acts, to try um, slowly and with a lot of embodied consent. You could try it on yourself, or you could try it with another person, but the key is to go at a pace that's right for your own body and to really listen to that internal sense of actual pleasure. Like, am I enjoying this? Do I think I could enjoy this? <clears throat> what do I really like? And can I have more of that in exactly the way I like? And the same is actually true of topping as well. I often think of bottoming, like receiving penetration as a more vulnerable position um, because it often is. Um, but topping also has to feel right for the body and we should be on the lookout for signals of pleasure and pain and really paying attention to those too. So that's what I would say about that. When it comes to power dynamic, well, I think, you know, there can be a lot more ebb and flow with this kind of thing. But essentially, um, I would say uh, you could just kind of try things out and see how it goes, see what delights and excites you. I can't believe that just rhymed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> see what delights and excites you. But uh, if you're really trying to look for like a core orientation or desire, it might also be fun to um, try identifying what sex educators sometimes call a core erotic theme. What is a core erotic theme? Well, there are actually quizzes that you can do about this in on the internet. Just Google core erotic theme quiz. Um, <laughs> but I am not responsible for what you come up with on a Google search, okay? But a core erotic theme essentially is um, the kind of repeating emotional theme that comes up in your erotic fantasies. And so, you know, it could be really fun and interesting to <laughs> make a little list or catalog of your erotic fantasies and see what comes up. Um, is the fantasy of being taken and told what to do something recurrent for you? Is the fantasy of being... Uh, pinned down and, you know, um, 
being asked or made to do fun things, a, a theme for you? Is there a recurrent theme of telling others what to do? Is there a recurrent theme of breaking free and finding your liberation? Like there's a lot of really powerful and beautiful themes that are embedded in core erotic uh, fantasies. And so the core erotic themes there that you pull out um, are uh, sometimes really interesting to explore and often also go way beyond like a basic categorization, like top, bottom, verse, or switch. Like sometimes core erotic themes are about um, being degraded or humili humiliated, but then reclaiming one's power. Sometimes they're about sweet surrender to a spiritual force. Sometimes they're about embracing, uh, you know, the so-called dirty and shameful. Like there's something really powerful and poetic about that. And so if your desire to find out if you're a bo top or bottom or a verse or a switch is about getting to know yourself, then this is one way that I, I might suggest doing that. And then, I mean, when it comes to any kind of exploration of uh, self and sexuality, I would just say, you know, um, make sure you're having good communication with the people you're exploring with. Don't uh, just kind of jump in and experiment with people before they know that uh, you're doing an experiment. I always like to say um, sexuality definitely is an experiment, but experiment with people. Don't experiment on people. So I'll leave you on that note. Thanks so much for watching. This is Ask Kai Quickies.